Hi, I'm Professor Mark Cornwell, and I teach fisheries classes here at SUNY Cobleskill. Here we see a typical fisheries lab at SUNY Cobleskill. In order to collect important fish data, such as size, community composition, health, and survival, fish must first be captured, and this is an electrofishing lab. Electrofishing is a fish capture technique often used by biologists around the world because of its efficiency and mortality rate. The most important thing we have to remember in an electrofishing lab is safety. Modern fisheries units, such as this Haltech backpack shocker, have multiple safety mechanisms to ensure operator and netman safety. Waterproof waders and lineman's gloves are worn by all to ensure insulation from the electric field. Electrofishing works because freshwater fish have a higher salinity than the fresh water they swim in. So the fish is actually more conductive than the water and is the path of least resistance for the electricity. Even though the electric shock is powerful, it won't harm the fish as long as they are not subjected to the electricity for a long time. Once fish are stunned, they're easily netted up and placed in a bucket until the sample is complete. Fish collection continues until the target number of fish are acquired or a designated area has been thoroughly fished. Once the fish are processed, which includes weighing and measuring them, they are returned to the water unharmed. Brook trout, such as the ones that you see here, are very sensitive species, and they're indicators of excellent water quality. And by having up-to-date fish data, resource managers, such as the New York State DEC, are able to make good decisions that will benefit not only the fish, but also the aquatic environment and the people who rely on it. 